Abby here. Welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday or welcome if you're new. Now today I'm going to be comparing the much requested by you Garmin Vivo Active 4S versus Garmin Vivo Active 5. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. I have the Garmin Vivo Active 5 here in the color Orchid. Now we do have Orchid colored bezel and band, and I have the Garmin Vivo Active 4S in the color Dust Rose Light Gold. And we do have a Dust Rose colored band and light gold bezel. And today I'm gonna go into the major spec similarities and differences between both of these smartwatches. If you do wanna see something more in depth and learn more about them, I've tested out both of these smartwatches and done full reviews on them, which you can find at the top right and also linked in the description below. So today I'm gonna be going over the major spec similarities and differences between both of these smartwatches. Vivo Active 5, currently at 399.99 Canadian and 299.99 American. And the Vivo Active 4S is currently at 479.99 Canadian and 349.99 American. The Vivo Active 4S has been out since 2019, where the Vivo Active 5 just came out 2023. This smartwatch is probably not gonna go on sale for a while. This smartwatch goes on sale quite often. I'm talking at least like once a month for the last like three years. Usually it is on sale for like at least $100 off or more. This smartwatch becomes a very good buy at that price point. So you guys might be wondering why this 2019 smartwatch is more expensive than this 2023 smartwatch. Smartwatch does have some important features and sensors that this one does not. And when it comes to materials, we also have better quality materials here versus here. So both of these smartwatches do have a heart rate sensor and can monitor your heart rate 24 seven. They have sleep tracking, you can track your steps, your calories burned. They have a built-in GPS, so you can get your outdoor activities tracked. They are both Garmin Coach compatible. They both have Garmin Pay. You can download music on here, listen to it phone free using Bluetooth headphones. They both have women's health. You can track a variety of workouts and activities on here, such as running, walking, swimming, yoga. You can also view your smartphone notifications, answer tonight phone calls, and much more. On the Vivo Active 4S, we have that memory and pixel sunlight transfective display. On the Vivo Active 5, we do have an AMOLED color display. The AMOLED display is more like something that you would see on your smartphone, whereas the memory and pixel display is Garmin's traditional display they've been using for years and years and years. Very readable, as the name says, in sunlight. Also good readability indoors, and it has an always on display. It does have a backlight as well. There's no backlight on right now. This is just how the display is always on. Here is the backlight on at 30%. Another difference is the size. On the Garmin Vivo Active 4S, we have a 1.1 inch display. On the Garmin Vivo Active 5, we have a 1.2 inch display. One thing I wanna know is that the AMOLED display here, a lot more reflective. That's something that you do get with AMOLED displays. So yeah, the display can be a big factor for a lot of people. Personally, I like both of them. I actually do like sunlight transfective memory and pixel display more. I definitely think the AMOLED display looks better. I mean, come on, of course, it's like a prettier looking display. But in terms of functionality, I prefer this. And when it comes to the text on the smartwatches, they're actually very similar sized. This is what the display looks like outdoors. You may or may not be able to tell the differences here through the camera, but in person, the Vivo Active 4 is definitely a lot easier to read outdoors because there is like zero glare. Now with the Vivo Active 5, definitely you can read it, but you do have to pump up the brightness because there's a lot of glare when the sun is like shining and when it's bright. So I've gone ahead and turned off the lights so you guys can see how they do look like in the dark. Both very readable in my opinion. So when it comes to the spec differences between both these smartwatches, I've gone ahead and listed a bunch of them on screen for you. Things like the materials they are made of, the display size, the types of display they have, the battery life, some sensors on the Vivo Active 4 that's not on the Vivo Active 5, and more. And all right guys, if you're finding this video helpful so far, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. They do have different operating system on how they work. The Vivo Active 4S has Garmin's older one. With the older operating system, when you're using it, you swipe down and you can see all of your metrics at a glance. And you can see everything here. And you can see our you know, control panel as well. 
And when I swipe right, we get our nice little shortcut. With the Vivo Active 5, when you swipe, it's Garmin's newer operating system. So everything is kind of at a smaller view and you have to go ahead and click into it to see things bigger. The new control panel looks like this. And another difference, when I swipe right, pull up kind of recently used apps and things, so. I personally do like just having the shortcut. One swipe, I can start an alarm. The Vivo Active 4S is more expensive for a reason. One of them is the materials they're using. On the Vivo Active 4S, we do have a stainless steel bezel, it's kind of smooth. We have our metal buttons. We also do have a better constructed watch case and it's a bit more durable. Now coming over to the Vivo Active 5, we do have an aluminum bezel. We have plastic buttons and plastic accents. And the Vivo Active 4S is more expensive. It also comes down to come with sensors it has, like the gyroscope, like the barometric altimeter. And the barometric altimeter is something that I find very helpful for the elevation tracking and the altitude. As someone who I love to track my floors climbed, it's a goal I have every day. And it also tracks your elevation, your altitude when you're going out on a walk or a hike or a run, for example. And then the gyroscope is also very helpful for having more accurate rep tracking, having more accurate swim tracking as well. And we don't have those things on the Vivo Active 5. And that's one major reason why the Vivo Active 5 is cheaper. Now Garmin has a lot of heart rate sensors out at this point. They are on the Elevate 5. Now, on this smartwatch, this is a brand new 2023 smartwatch, we don't have the newest heart rate sensor. We have Garmin's Elevate 4 heart rate sensor. And on the Vivo Active 4S, which is Garmin's you know, older smartwatch, we have the Elevate 3. Now, I will say that both of these heart rate sensors are still good in 2023. I was a little disappointed not to see you know, the newest heart rate sensor on this because it's a brand new smartwatch. One thing I wanted to mention is that both heart rate sensors are slightly elevated. So you guys can see this does protrude out a little bit. Same here. When it comes to the heart rate sensors and the heart rate data, I've thrown on screen for you guys some previous workout that I did. Now, I will say on general day-to-day -day stuff, if I'm walking around the house, if I am doing errands, going on a walk, doing basically light activities, I don't really see a difference in the heart rate sensor. They might differ between like one to 5% at most, so not a huge deal for me. Now, the biggest difference I find between the Vivo Active 4S and the Vivo Active 5 is that the Vivo Active 5 is better enough at tracking quick heart rate changes so if you are someone who you love to do hit activities or if you're someone who you like to do running or walking intervals the vivo active 5 is going to detect those heart rate changes faster once again if you're someone who you're doing your yoga your pilates your walks you're not going to see a huge difference in the heart rate data the vivo active 4 will detect those changes it's just not going to be as accurate because it does take a little bit longer for you to get those adjustments i'm just putting this on my wrist so you can see the heart rates are almost identical so Garmin in 2019 was still making awesome heart rate sensors that still rival the newer ones in my opinion. The battery life on the Vivo Active 5 goes up to 11 days, while the battery life on the Vivo Active 4S goes up to seven days. Now with my actual usage, doing things like GPS walks, runs, daily alarms, timers, and more. I have gotten on average five to six days of battery life with the Vivo Active 4S and seven to eight days of battery life with the Vivo Active 5. Now keep in mind that is with that always on display turned off, like right now, as you guys are seeing. If I went ahead and turned the always on display on, the battery life for me I got on average was four days of battery life. I could not push it past four days. Now with the always on display off, this one definitely has better battery life. And I love having longer battery life because less charging always a win for me. With the Vivo Active 5 here, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really think this is a Vivo Active. To me, this is a venue. Like this smartwatch reminds me of a venue SQ, but circular. It has the same look, same vibe as that. It's made with the same type of, you know, materials, the plastic buttons, the plastic accents, the aluminum bezel. It just looks very, very similar to those because the Vivo Active series, even going back to like the Vivo Active 3 had, you know, metal buttons, metal accents, a memory and pixel display. The Vivo Active 4S came out before the Venue line did and the Venue is basically like a Vivo Active by AMOLED. So the fact that they just made the Vivo Active here with an AMOLED display, it just doesn't feel like a Vivo Active. Another thing I've noticed is that we only have one size form factor here. And I don't love that because I like having a 
smaller smartwatch. I like having a thinner band. If they could have made a VivoActive 5S that was literally like same size as this, but with the newer heart rate sensor, with the newer batteries, with the newer operating system, this could have been like the perfect smartwatch for me. So I am disappointed that we don't have that personally. When it comes down to which smartwatch is best for you, I think that depends on a couple of factors. One, do you want a smartwatch that has a barometric altimeter, that has a gyroscope, that has a memory and pixel display that's easy readability outdoors? Do you want something that comes in a smaller form factor? And do you want to have more high quality, durable materials? If the answer is yes, then the Vuelacta 4S could be a great option for you. However, if you wanna have HRV status, which I know my runners out there love, if you wanna have Garmin's newer operating system, a newer heart rate sensor, if you do want to have a longer battery life without using the always on display, and if you're someone who you wanna have some of those newer features like sleep coach, nap detection, if you wanna have more GPS capabilities, then the Vivo Active 5 could be a great option for you. Now, when it comes to me and which smartwatch I prefer, I would go with the Garmin VivoActive 4S. Do not let the age fool you. Yes, it's a little bit older, but this is still a fantastic smartwatch in 2023. And for me, a couple of reasons why I would choose this over the five is barometric altimeter is huge for me. I'm someone who I love to track my elevation when I'm going on walks or bike rides. I also like to track my forest climb. I love that it has metal accents, buttons, stainless steel bezel, and I just think it looks better. And I love that we have a smaller form factor option. That being said, I think the Vivo Active 5 has a lot of great qualities. And go ahead and let me know which smartwatch you prefer. Which one do you think is better? The Vivo Active 4S or the Vivo Active 5? Definitely drop that in the comments below. Now, if you guys are looking to pick up either the Garmin Vivo Active 4S or Vivo Active 5, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you want to know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. I do read all the comments and I'll definitely get back to you. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.